Welcome to Kingdom of God online seminar brought to you by Forbes Global Global Diplomat College Center, Greenville, South Carolina. The vision, transforming students into leaders and leaders into agents of change. And now presenting God's Holy Prophet and Ambassador of the Kingdom of Heaven, Joseph Forbes, with the message already in progress. Welcome, welcome to join us in an exciting, life-changing experience. The Kingdom of God online seminar kingdom dominion power park information training brought to you by the holy spirit for you your family your mama your papa your brother your sister their children your cousin, your auntie, your uncle, this promise is for you, for all who are far off, for all whom the Lord our God shall call. I want to focus today in this online seminar with this message, part two, understanding the seven spirit of the king, our God, our Lord. Part two, there are four principles, kingdom objective, the seminar Objective one, understanding the spirit of our God, the King. Two, the Bible is about a king. I can peel and go through every scripture in the Bible and it speak about a king. So the Bible is about a king, his kingdom. His royal family, his sons and daughters. Seven spirit of the church. God speaks through the Holy Spirit to the churches. For the church in the kingdom, the church is not the kingdom, the church in the kingdom, and the kingdom before the church. The kingdom is everlasting. For 1800 years, the church was busy, but not effective. They were doing good things, but not the right thing. One of the devil's greatest tragedy to get you to do thing, good thing, and you missed out on the right thing. Now we go to the message already in progress. I thank the United States of America for subscribing to our video. I thank also the nations of the world for viewing us and subscribe to our video. And I thank all our subscribers, all our viewers. I thank you. This is a scripture. Write this down. Those who are joining us in this online seminar. Revelation, which folks preachers are afraid to teach on because they have no understanding of it. <laughs> wow. Revelation. It is the revelation of Jesus Christ, the spirit of the prophetic. Wow. The testimony of Jesus. Revelation 1. 3, 1. To the angel of the church of Sardis, write, These are the words of him who holds the seven spirit of God and 
the seven stars, I know your deeds. Wake up, strengthening what remains and is about to die. For I have, for I have found your deeds unfinished in the sight of my God. Remember, therefore, what you have received and hold fast and repent. But if you do not wake up, I will come like a thief and you will not know at what time I will come to you. You have a few people in Sardis who have not spoiled their clothes, for they are worthy that are one who is the one who is victorious. Walk, be dressed, will be dressed in white. I will never blot out the name that person from the book of life. But acknowledge their name before my father and the angels. Wow. Now I will define this session. This is about the seven spirit of God our King. This is the revelation about the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, God's Spirit, speak to the churches. The seven spirit are the seven eyes of God. They see in front and back, and in front, everywhere, on see, they all see everything. You do, you say, you speak, everything they see. Now, I will define. The angel means messenger of God. Angels are messengers of God who make his angel messenger spirit swift as wind. His servant a flaming fire. So it open up this session in the seventh spirit of God, the angels are messenger of God to the church in Sardis. Angel carry the message. Now, what is the message the angel carry from God? These are the words. You've heard what your professor said in this seminaries. They have misunderstood kingdom theology. You have heard what your pastors say and they preach. You heard what the prophets say. You heard what the teachers say. But hear what this said the Lord. So God, he know that you will twist his scripture so you protect himself from you. You pastor. <laughs> you bishop. <laughs> he protect himself from you. Wow. Now hear what he said in his scripture. These are the words of him who hold together, hold the seven spirit of God, the spirit of the Lord, the Holy Ghost. The spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of might, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of fearing the Lord, the Holy Spirit, wisdom, understanding, might, counsel, knowledge, fearing the Lord. Wake up! Churches around the world, in every country, in every place, you need to wake up. The word wake up means 
to pay attention. Be calm and walk. Start to realize. Be calm and walk. Pay attention. Start to realize. What? Strengthen. Strengthen. What we mean? Your, your leaders, your weak folk in the churches, your brothers, your sister in the church, your kingdom citizen, strengthen those that remain and is about to die. The church have a name that are living and they're dead. About to die. Globally. For I have found your deeds unfinished. The word deeds mean doing good, obedient, follow instruction. I have found them unfinished in the sight of God, our King. The word unfinished mean unaccomplished, not unawareness, incomplete. I found your deeds incomplete, unaccomplished in the sight of God. Now, remember, the word remember, do not forget. Remind be reminded. Have awareness. Remember, therefore, what you have received. The word receive, re means to again. See means to have. Adam lost the kingdom. Adam lost the government. Adam lost the seven spirit of God. So Jesus bring it back again. You have to receive. Wow. And hold, hold fast. Repent. Bishop, repent. Pastor, repent. The whole church must repent. Repent means change of heart, change of mind, go a different direction. Wow. Change your mentality. Change the way you think. Jesus' first inaugurated message, Matthew 4, 17, repent for the kingdom has arrived. The kingdom of God is now repent but if you do not wake up i will come like a thief and you will not know what time i will come now what that mean that's mean god will move you away so fast that you don't understand what time he's going to do it. So wake up. Wake up. Be alert. Pay attention. Get involved. Start to realize. Pay attention. Get involved. Wake up. Wow, wow, wow. Wake up. But if you do not wake up, I will come like a thief. And you will not know at what time I come to you. Yet you have a few people in Sardis who have not spoiled their clothes. But they are worthy. They who are victorious. It's time to win. The word victorious means winner. Conqueror. Winning. Being an 
overcomer, being a conqueror. Wow. Being victorious. First John 5, 4, and I be write this down. But everyone who born of God overcome. Those who are victorious will be dressed in white. And I will never blot their name out of the out of the book of life. But I will acknowledge them, their name, before my father and the angels. So God wants you as a believer, as a kingdom citizen, that everyone who born of God, who are sons and daughters, shall overcome the world, the system. You're in the world, but not you're in the world, but not of the world, but you shall overcome the world. This is the victory. This is the victory that overcome the world. Our faith, our confidence, our trust, our assurance in God. Overcome the world through our faith. Faith comes by what? Hearing and by hearing the word of God. So this letter addressed to the church. Now, for 1800 years, or 4,000 years, folks don't know what the church is. The first time in the four gospels, the word church ever were mentioned, been mentioned by the Lord Jesus our King. Matthew 16, 18, NIV, write this down. And I tell you, you are Peter. And upon this rock, I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not overcome it. The Greek word for church is ecclesia. Ecclesis. Ecclesis. Call out assembly. Means assembly of citizen. Means Greek word assembly means, in the ancient Greek, means assembly of citizen. The church is a legislative body of a king of a kingdom. Wow. It's called ecclesia, which define, call out assembly, which means church. Wow, wow, wow. Every ancient king, monarchy, have his own ecclesia. Today, we understand this, that every president has a cabinet. The word ecclesia means assembly, body, means legislative body of Christ. Now, Adam was the church, and the church was in Adam. Adam was the ecclesia in the Garden of Eden. Adam was the church in the Garden of Eden, and the church was in Adam. Now, if there is further want to be, you must understand that their ecclesia is an assembly. Acts 19.39 If there is any further you want to be up and must be settled in the legal assembly. Acts 19.39 In the year 307 a leader by the name of Constantine introduced a system rule by the people. This system was made up of these three institutional ecclesia governing body of laws, council, and representative. Now, the church is the representative of God on earth. 
means the cabinet of the king. Tell me more. Every king has an ecclesia. Now we go to the message. How must we identify ourselves first as a kingdom citizen? For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations. Then shall the end come. If this teaching and this channel been a blessing to you, go and subscribe. Global Diplomat College Center and be a partaker in proclaiming the good news of the kingdom. God saved all the nations of the world. Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father. Hallelujah.